Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. In this video, I have brought you a famous story, Our Teacher, written by Masti Venkatesha Ayanga. Masti Venkatesha Ayanga Srinivas was born on 6 June 1891 at Hunaganahalli in Kola district of Karnataka in a Tamil Vaishnava family. His early education took place in the village called Masti. He did M in English Literature in 1914 from Madras University. He passed the Maso Civil Service Examination and held various positions as an administrator. He was a well-known Kannada writer, Kannada writer. He was the fourth recipient of Gyanapita Award for his novel Chikavera Rajendra in 1983. He was, he was also honored with the title Raja Seva Sakta by the 10 Maharaja of Mysore, Nalavadi Krishna Raja Wadiyar. Masti was popularly, popularly considered the Kannada Asti treasure. Introduction of the story. This is a short story written by Masti Venkatesha Ayanga in, a, in Kelavu Sana Kathagulu and translated by P.C. Ramachandra Sharma's Katha Classics. Our teacher is an extract from his Kelavu Sana Kathagulu. The story deals with a village school teacher. He was so poor that he could not buy even salt. He was afraid of his wife and the second and the school inspector. The story begins a petty quarrel between the teacher and his wife for salt and ends with his promotion by one of his students. But the tragedy was that the teacher's wife had passed away when his salary was increased. It was Thursday and the narrator was in hurry as it was getting late for school. The narrator's friend Lakshmi was also late and almost running on her little feet behind the narrator. Lakshmi was still asleep when the narrator went to call her and this delayed them. As both of them walked together, they saw their teacher ahead. They slowed down as there was no reason for them when the teacher himself was taking it easy. The teacher was spotted in the opposite direction by Shasti and asked, So, Venkatramaya, on your way of school? The teacher replied, Yes, Swami, I am. Do you have a pinch of salt? Shastri gave a snuff to the teacher and asked him why he was late to school. The teacher answered that his wife told him that there was no salt in the house. He was late for school. So he told her that he could not get it. His wife started saying all kinds of things. Instead of hearing her words, he could go and buy the salt and he would have reached the school by now. Shasti said that he would send it to the teacher's house through one of the boys and ask for money to buy the salt. Since the teacher was standing and talking, there was no point to go to school by the narrator and her friend Lakshmi. So the narrator and her friend sat down and started playing. Guchama, Nakshatra and they got so engrossed in the game that they did not notice the teacher had left. The narrator got up and said to her friend that it's late, we have to go, else the teacher would be angry. But Lakshmi sat there and started crying as she had lost all her balapa sticks to the narrator in the game. Lakshmi lost the game because she did not know how to play. The narrator begged her to get up, but she, ke she kept wailing, my sticks, my balapa sticks. The narrator tried to convince Lakshmi the reason, but she did not understand as the only thing she knew was that the chalk pieces were hers. The narrator was fed up with her crying and she gave back all the chalk pieces she had worn and tried to convince her to go with the narrator. But Lakshmi was still standing there and was asking for the chalk pieces and told that the narrator had some more chalk pieces in, in her pocket. The narrator protected that those are hers, but at last, the narrator gave, gave all the chalk pieces to Lakshmi. Otherwise, she would not have come to school. The narrator would not have excused that she had gone to fetch Lakshmi. 
when the teacher asked her why she was late the narrator won the game but lakshmi won all the chalk pieces sitama was reminded of the occasion of the instruct of the inspector's visit and saraswati had had got more marks and appreciation than gauri by the time the narrator and lakshmi reached school and the teacher had already started the lesson for the first standard the narrator and her friend slipped unnoticed and sat down after he finished with the class after the teacher finished with that class the teacher turned to the group and asked why hadn't gaurama and sitama come as yet the narrator replied that she had come long ago the teacher told her to be early to school when the narrator saw her friend lakshmi's face he added that the narrator was late every day because of the lakshmi and told them to come on time just a f- just for a few days as the inspector was going to visit the school any day this was a new inspector and he would present pearl necklaces to those who do well in studies he advised he advised saraswati to work hard like gauri saraswati always taunted gauri saying let her study well if she wants to do i don't have a squint everyone laughed loudly by the words of saraswati the teacher even wanted to laugh but he controlled himself and scolded sure you should not say such things saraswati was proud that there was nothing wrong with her nose and eyes and she made fun of gauri's squint most people are like saraswati it seems most of the girls are vain men do not realize that good looks do not come with education and women do not know that you cannot pass an exam by by the beauty alone some of the girls like saraswati thought that beauty was everything after all she had been praised by the inspector the previous year even though she had not learned the lesson that was the day gauri and saraswati who were friends until then fell out the previous inspector had asked her what a river was saraswati did not know and the inspector turned to gaurama and she repeated word by word all that was written in ragunath rao's geography books geography book the inspector advised saraswati that only if you learn the lesson by heart you will know the inspector also asked another question to gaurama but she did not answer the question the question was how is river formed it was saraswati's turn she replied the water that falls here and there joins together to form a river the inspector exclaimed shabash to saraswati and he turned to the teacher and complimented him the inspector meant saraswati but the teacher was thinking the reference was to gauri and later the inspector realized that the teacher was talking about gauri and he addressed saraswati by asking her name the teacher moaned that his rib cage has gone dry trying to teach saraswati from that day onwards the two girls were no longer friends gauri would taunt saraswati and in reply saraswati would talk about her squint the teacher would advise saraswati to work hard like gauri and she would take that, that opportunity to humiliate her teacher's wife enters here to return to that thursday teacher assigned some work to the students but they were they were busy with eating snacks like a uh, manchur chakli avlakki which they had brought no one had much interest in study except gauri the narrator waited for teacher to ask the students to submit the lessons meanwhile the narrator thought that the teacher was thinking very practical about some metaphysical issue or about rukku samhite 
as soon as the teacher saw his wife in the doorway he imagined whatever was to take place at home was to happen in the school in a slightly loud voice his wife told him i told you that there was no salt in the house yet you went straight to school what do you expect me to do she argued that she would come to wherever he was so the teacher scolded her told her to borrow from the neighbors if she comes to school he may lose his reputation wise versa wife replied that what about her self respect if she borrowed rice dal salt etc from the neighbors every day please inform if you don't have any money you would eat without salt but don't lie that you are getting late to school told by the teacher's wife in the meanwhile <clears throat> all the girls were excited to see the guru damari guru damari which was a little kitten very pretty to look lakshmi fed tembitu to the little kitten it showed special affection to her so she was proud that the kitten loved her she thought that she would not leave it alone now the real inspector enters to inspect the school lakshmi put the kitten on a lap in the classroom then the inspector visited the classroom and asked are the teacher here the teacher replied yes maha swami he knew the shastras and vedas he could recite the ragu vamsha and expound on philosophical matters he was pure he could not bear to see anyone suffering that was the reason he had no money for salt he was praised as a courageous man because he attacked a cobra by putting a pinch of snuff in the snake's mouth that made the snake giddy and it fell senseless even such a courageous soul was terrified of two things one was his wife and the other was the inspector that is about the teacher by seeing the teacher <clears throat> by seeing the teacher he hastily put his turban in the wrong way who the teacher sorry by seeing the inspector the teacher put his turban in the wrong way inspector ordered him to put his turban the right way the inspector saw the woman in the classroom and asked who is she is she a pupil by the by the time the teacher's wife seemed to realize that her action had created a situation which was more than she had expected she replied no maha swami inspector thought that the teacher had caught hold of a mature one to teach so he asked which class are you in teacher's wife got angry left the room by muttering but seeing this inspector thought that she might be an aya the inspector was annoyed because the teacher was replying ma swami maha swami for all the question the teacher was replying only ma swami as an answer now inspector started to question the teacher requested to have the inspection tomorrow as he was tired he requested the inspector that please do have inspection tomorrow because today he is tired to relax the inspector asked to sing a song from someone who sings well <clears throat> then the teacher told lakshmi was the best singer and ordered her sing to sing the one on king george since lakshmi started to sing the kitten was still on her lap it wanted to come out from her lap but it was not possible as she was trying to hide in folds of a dress inspector pointed to it and in search of it he put his hand to know what it was the kitten was angry and scratched lakshmi's stomach and also inspector's hand the inspector was angry and shouted on the teacher why can't you make them study the teacher replied that they could run away from the school if he applied any rules ma swami i do not want to be disloyal to the hands like yours his rage catch his rage cage had gone dry his sorry his rage cage had gone dry 
and trying to teach in the school, the inspector asked about his salary. He told that he was getting rupees 10 months, only rupees 10 per month. The inspector told that he would recommend for his salary to be increased for rupees 12 a month. He said that he would increase his salary from rupees 10 to 12, 12 per month. After three days of the narrator's marriage, teacher visited her and he was already blessed her. She would get a good husband. After a long time, one day, teacher visited the narrator to discuss about his promotion with her husband. The narrator's husband promised to help him and the narrator narrates the story of a teacher to her husband. He laughed heartily. The teacher visited the narrator a second time to thank he told that his wife was no more and had left behind a girl child and she had a hard time throughout. If she were here today, he would have bought a new sari. Her love for him was boundless, life-giving kind. She was utterly guiltless. She also told him to tell the truth that she was his wife. But the teacher told the truth to the inspector. At first, the inspector was very angry and laughed loudly by saying that instead of recommending him rupees 12 a month, he would have been raised it to rupees 15. The teacher was silent and realized that is there anyone who knows everything about another's life? So this is how the story ends. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. You can reach me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Please do subscribe the channel. Click on the like button for more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills. Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.